Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo flawless run on this week's Master Nightfall, which is the birthplace of the Vile. Vale. It's one of the new strikes that came in with the Witch Queen, so this is obviously the first time it's ever been a Nightfall. I'm doing it on the Warlock. I've decided to use Warlock because the acute burn in this is Void. I figured there might be quite a bit of Void, so Devour's really going to help in this. Uh, Overloads and Unstoppable, so can't really go long range with bows or scout rifles so I'm using 7th Seraph for the unstoppable funnel web and I've got overload grenades on for the overloads Galahorn uh, you can see the, the mods that I'm using if you really want to go in depth on them I'll speak a bit more about them as we're going through it but if you really want to go in depth on it you can always come back and have a look at it so the the burn is acute. The acute burn is void. So fifty percent more incoming, twenty five percent more outgoing, and we've got attrition on. So you don't get health back, or your health is limited. Health regeneration is limited, unless you pick up one of those little font of lights. Sometimes this can be almost as bad as togetherness, which is why I use devour. But one of the main tools in my arsenal is going to be ashes to assets. So I get more super super energy back. On grenade kills and we're going to be throwing a lot of grenades uh, I've got Ardent Ordnance on as well which coupled with fonts of light that I'll get from uh, Elemental Ordnance I've got Elemental Charge on so when I pick up a, a well I'm going to get charged with light times 2 which then will give me 2 God Slayer rockets in my my Galahom and we've got uh, Volatile, Volatile Rounds uh, volatile flow so when I pick up a well I'm gonna get volatile rims in my funnel web so when you first come in you're gonna be in in one of the patrol areas and make your way down to where I am and you've, straight away you're gonna be greeted by a whole host of ads and it, it, they will they won't come together but you'll get two overloads so as you can see I'm just kind of peppering uh, the reason I'm getting for anybody most people will know this anyway but I'll, I'll, for people that don't know I will just uh, add this in. The reason I'm getting my grenades back so so quickly is because I've got controversial holds on, which basically when I throw my grenade, I'm guaranteed some grenade energy back. I'm just gonna finish this champion. Now you'll see me go into my uh, into my inventory here just to make sure I've got lucent finisher on because I finished him and never got any heavy. I should have got heavy from finishing him. So. That brings us to the some finisher. Every time you finish a champion, you should drop heavy for you and your teammates. So once you've cleared those, you're then going to get like a, a kind of a mini boss. I'm just going to throw my super and just get him out of the way because I've also got an unstoppable. Now you can see those two little guys pushing up. I'm just going to toss a grenade on there because they're doing void damage. And they, they are, their weapons are really, 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 really powerful with void. So as you can see there, we burnt, burnt quite a few heavy shots. Not really too worried because I know I'm going to get a ton of heavy back in this next section. So uh, when you get up here, the idea is you've got to step on this plate and activate it. And then we're going to clear all the ads. We're going to do, do the ad clearing from back here because one of the... It, it, it just keeps getting better. One of the one of the other modifiers is some of the ads will remain, uh, they'll be harder to see when they're farther away. And they've chose to make those screeps, so we've got invisible screeps. So where we are here, the, the screeps will push back here, but these these uh, void, void guys, they won't really push up to us. So we're just going to control the ads from here. We There will come a point where we're going to clear all of the ads. You see there, that screw managed to push past me. We will clear all of the ads, and then we can go and finish the plate off. Now, I was a little bit, because I couldn't remember this strike at all. I had no... Now I've got volatile rounds, because I've got volatile flow on. Just makes it easier to clear these the rest of these ads. Yeah, I, I couldn't remember the strike one bit. I knew it was going to be, an, I knew it was going to be as, as I'm pretty sure everybody did, I knew it was going to be the Nightfall. I just couldn't remember it. I don't think I've done it as a, a playlist strike. Just throw another grenade there. That's basically what we're going to keep doing is just keep peppering them. Uh, 
and, and, and as long as we keep getting ability kills and we keep refreshing that devour timer because of the fragment I've got gives me increased devour time. I'm getting about what about fifteen seconds of devour? Yep, fifteen seconds of devour, which is which is perfect. So yeah, I couldn't remember the strike one bit. So I when I came into this area I wasn't sure if I had to stay on the plate to start with, which is no, it's not very good. And there is another plate section that I'm still not 100% sure if I'd done it the right way. Although, the way I'd done it actually cleared it pretty quickly, so I must have done something right. So, as, as you'll see, eventually these ads are going to stop coming. And then you can go up. It, it, when you stop seeing the, the kind of red on your immediate radar, that's when you can go up. Like, like you see, we've got those red, those two red markers there, but then we don't have any. When you get that for a couple of seconds, you can push up. So all the ads dead, and then we can, uh, we can push onto the plate, and then we can kind of, I don't want to say capture the plate, but we can charge it, and then we're going to move forward into the next room. Uh, I'm going to take this opportunity just to wish a friend of mine who has caught. Covid is a long-time subscriber to the channel. Angry, I hope you get well soon. Uh, hopefully that's, you know, it's not too bad for you. I know what it's like. I've just got over it myself, and I hope anybody that's caught Covid or is recovering from it, I hope you guys didn't suffer too much. It's just it's just a nightmare thing. So get well soon, Angry. Uh, so when you get into this area. You're going to have some snipers over on the left. As you can see, we just, I'm just going to I'm just going to put a rocket on. There's two sets of two. Well, there's actually five here, but the other one didn't like the Galahorn thing and bugged out. You see him just jumped over there, and then over, but right at the back, we've got an unstoppable and we've got a overload. So I've thrown a grenade just to put as much extra damage on that unstoppable as I could. I n never really got what I would have liked, so I'm just going to move forward a little bit more and just Olympic throw that grenade all the way to the back, which is cool because it's hit them, it's hit those uh, scorn, and and actually put a little bit, which because of the what I've got on... Uh, because of because of the mod of the, the the fragments I've got on, uh, my grenades weaken enemies. I'll just put another rocket because I can see I've got heavy over there, and I know that there's an overload that I haven't haven't seen him come up as being stopped. Oh, there he is. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stop him like that, and then I'm just going to put a real quick nade on him. Once once you've stopped, once you've stopped him, whether it's with once you've stopped on the overload, whether it's with the funnel web or whether it's with a grenade, it doesn't matter which one you stop them with. They will then take more damage from overload weapons, which is why the funnel web seem to like eat through them. Plus, you're getting 25% additional damage on the funnel web because it's void. So, don't be... After you've watched this, if you... Know, if, if you obviously... You might not know where all the champions are, but once you've watched this, you'll get a better sense of where you can farm a bit heavy from, because then you'll know where the champions are. So when we get here, this kind of aztec uh, looking area, we just kind of put a grenade down there in front of all those ads, and most of them are going to run into the grenade, and then there's going to be a bunch of them that are going to bug out, because who likes that, you know? So... Another thing I should add, and I, again, I'm saying it, I'm pretty sure most of you will be aware of it. The ads in this strike, obviously with them being scorn, you can see it there. The scorn chieftains, right? Which is the scorn's version of captains. They, uh, they put down little defensive welts, uh, defensive uh, tether, uh, not really tethers. I, I don't actually know what they're called. Uh, but they put down those little... like te They are tethers. The void, when, when, when they put the void ones down, they, they, they tether. Arc ones are more like 
traction, they, 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 they pull you in and then the solar ones burn you. Even the boss in this does that, which I... I... Yeah. No wonder nobody doesn't like the scorn. Everybody, nobody, nobody likes the scorn. The scorn of the new taken. Nobody likes scorn. Which, you know, you just have to deal with. But sometimes you're going to put your grenade down. And you'll see me do it. Sometimes I'll, I'll put my grenade down just behind one of the tethers. So it'll, it'll take the tether or, or in between the adds and the tether. Because it's got a big radius. And it'll take down the tether. And then start taking the ads immediately. The nightmare scenario is that you've got a boss that can tether, shielding an overload who will also tether. That's the nightmare scenario. Because you break one one's tether and the other tether uh, just takes over. The reason I'm saying that is because it happens at the boss to me. <laughs> so it was a bit of a nightmare scenario, but nothing, nothing too major. So when you get into here, th this room is worth remembering the way that we do this room because you in the boss section, every time you get the boss to his immunity phase, uh, he's going to make you revisit two areas that you do uh, on the way to him. And this is one of them. You'll have to come into this room. And we'll do, when we come into this room, when you know, in the boss's immunity phase, we're going to do it the exact same way. So... I'm going to put this down because obviously they're doing void damage and you can see without the, the use of that well, the help of that well. Yeah, it, it, it's it's tricky. So I'm going to put that grenade down there. I'm going to push up. I know there's more Screebs. It's Screebs that drop down in here. And I wanted them to come up pretty quickly. And it, if, you, if, if ever you want to you know what's still in the... You know, make sure that you're not... Don't be slow to, to de de you know, pull down your, your EDS. And then you can just look at the map and see what's in front of you. No, another overload here. So this is what I'm talking about. About doing the grenade thing. Putting the grenade on the boss. But close to the... On the side between the boss and the tether. And the grenade will take the tether. And then go to work on the ad. So you're also going to have an area where you're going to have to capture two plates. Now I spoke about this a couple of minutes ago. I wasn't sure if the way I'd done it was correct. So, in this area right in front of us, this is the area you've got to capture plates, but when you first come in here, you're going to have two unstoppables. Now, this is quite funny. Because one of the unstoppables, I believe it was this, because I believe it was this run. Because I, I, I'd already, I've already done this as a solo, but for some reason my computer decided that my, my recording equipment should use the inbuilt software... Uh, to encode the run and well if you know anything about computers you know that the program's inbuilt software coding system is nowhere near as good as my RTX is <laughs> so it was a really bad recording yeah I think it is this one so what happens is I lose sight of the uh, the overload for us, the unstoppable and he ends up pushing up right on top of me and nearly kills me hello he almost got me there but he's finishable so stop him finish him don't lose sight of him normally what I would have done there is I'd have put a grenade down and I'd have got one of them I'd have killed one of them quickly and then I'd have got the other one finishable roughly the same way I did there but I think the reason that all happened is because I, I, I never had a grenade so Right, these two plates here, you can see I wasn't I wasn't happy, but I couldn't believe that that had happened. What's going to happen here is the minute you go on the plate, you're going to get double waves of ads, right? Now, I wasn't sure whether I needed to stay on the plate or whether I could get off the plate. So what I decided to do was test it. Do I stay on the plate? Do I get off? What you're looking to do, what I noticed... Uh, is you're going to get right in the center. You see him spawning there? You just put a grenade on him there, a rocket on him. As it seems like once you get him, you're almost done. You have to get... You've got to be on the plate for so long because I think the, the more you're on the plate, 
at that section, uh, the faster that section goes. We just put another grenade on the spawning ads there. Uh, I need to go back onto the plate, I think, to to finish this section, but I can't while there's all these ads here. Got to watch out for the screebs as well. As I say, they're invisible right up until they're right on top of you. Uh, so the first time I've done this, I, I actually was clearing. I, I'm pretty sure you've got to go on the plate. Right? It's about time spent on the plate, more than anything else. So just obviously devours really helping us here. So I'm trying to clear as many ads as possible and get on the plate in between spawns. So I'll toss that there. I know that's going to clear all of those. I'll use I'll use my my funnel web to clear those. And I think kind of the screen kind of flashes. There's a bit of a flash to let you know. There we go. And that that kind of flash there lets you know, yep, yeah, you're good. So when I didn't go on the plate, I'm pretty sure it took longer to get this section done because. As a run, I think this run was, uh, I want to say that this run was about four and a half minutes faster than my first clear. And I think it was because of the plates. I think it was because of this section, because the last one I just stayed up, thought it was like the first section where you could just clear the ads and then get on the plate, but it's not. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you've got to be on that plate. Which makes a lot of fun. Uh, if I was to go back and have a look, I would probably say try and get onto the plate, try and stagger the, the spawns. So kill one spawn as soon as it comes out, but then let the other one move. So, and then we're, we're looking at exactly the same here. The difference here is, I think the ads are spread out a little bit more than... than uh, than they were in the last area. So I'm just trying to make sure I can stay on this plate uh, as long as possible. There we go. And what I'm going to do is throw a grenade and straight away with a super. And then I'm not, I'm not really worrying too much about heavy because I know that I, if I need to get heavy, there we go. And then we've got that flash, that's the other one. So as you can see there, I stayed on this plate a considerable amount of time, more than I did on the other plate, and this section went quicker. I wasn't too worried about burning all my, my heavy, because I knew I had heavy on the floor. And there we go, I'm max heavy. So it's the longer you stay on the plate, as we've seen with this plate, the longer you stay on the plate, the faster you clear those sections. You just have to remember that there's a lot of ads coming in. So as, as I've already said, I was I was uh, moving between grenades and, 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 and rockets there in the section we've got at uh, Unstoppable. And like I th I, th I don't I don't know if I finished this sentence earlier, but because one of the fragments I've got grenade my grenades weaken the enemies. If I do put a grenade on top of a bunch of enemies and there's a champion there whether it's an unstoppable it doesn't really matter which one it is my grenade will weaken that enemy if it's an unstop if it's an overload my uh my grenade will well it'll overload them because i've got overload grenades on if it's an unstoppable it all it's going to do is weaken weaken it so my rockets then will do even more damage once you come into this room, as I say, there's, there's four ads in front of you. Once you've cleared those four ads, make sure, you know, because we're not going to clear all the ads in here. Now, I'm not even sure. I don't think there is a champion over on the left. Uh, but th two of those uh, stasis wielding uh, ravagers, is it ravagers or lurkers? I can't remember which one it is. Well, it's not lurker. I don't think it's Ravengers, Ravage, Ravengers either, but those those guys with the stasis cannons, they uh, two of them will come around from behind you. So what I what I tend to do is take those guys, 
uh, like take the first four guys and turn around and deal with the two that are going to be pushing them behind me. So that section we just come out of, that is the that is the other section that you're going to have to go to when you're doing the boss. So in between the boss got three phases. In his so he's first phase, and then immunity. Second phase, then immunity, and then final phase. In his first phase, I think you go to the darkness room with all the invisible screeps. And then in the second immunity phase, you'll go to that area we've just come out of. Which you do exactly the same way. So when when you come out of that, when you come out of doing that area we've just done the first time, you're going to obviously be in this room. And you're going to have two uh, overloads. Once you've cleared the other ads in the room, you can see you want to clear them because they like to throw their void puddles of fire at you. Once you clear them, you can just come up here. Sometimes that will happen. The, the first overload shot my grenade. So what we're going to do now is we're going to stop him as soon as we can. I, those little... Uh, when we destroy this... Well, I didn't even see what it was. I can't remember what they're called. Little lanterns? They are so annoying. So what we're going to do is get him finishable... And then get some heavy off him. Just so I'm going into the boss room with full heavy. Now we've still got this long stretch here. And then the bosses after this. So this is basically. The boss is basically in that white kind of building behind here. But what we've got to deal with here are two kind of mini bosses. You can see there you're taking a lot of void heat can't really push down there but that helped that that corrupted ch champion yeah he, he didn't like it so throw, I'm gonna throw a sipper down here you can see that light scourge Kadori light scourge so that's him dead we're gonna throw another grenade down here and try and kill the advancing hordes as many as we can stalkers that's what they're called uh, we've also got and you'll see on the left there I'm just gonna go down and grab those fonts those elemental wells that we've got two unstoppable abominations. Now, I I haven't used this hand can in a long time. I used to always use this hand can and I forgot how much range it's got. I think I think stat wise, according to the game, it's got like 45 range. Yeah, right. It's, it's such a good hand cannon. I've got it with you can have a look, you can go back and have a look for yourself, but and tell you now, it's got time payload on it. So basically, it's, it's the best version this this you can get with this hand cannon. It's the nearest thing you can get to explosive payload. I'll just toss a grenade down there. Now, luckily, I knew that I knew that there was one or two. I didn't realize there were as many ads as what there were there. So fired that rocket and. Obviously, the boss moved out the way, so, you know, rocket <laughs> rocket went straight into the wall. <laughs> Good one. So, is that, I can't, I, I actually didn't notice if, if that, uh, right, that was a speculative grenade, because I thought the, the boss had just moved away a little bit, but he hadn't. Uh, they are, I was I was just looking there myself actually, I I didn't know if they if, if what the name of the second one was. So what I'm gonna do I don't really want because I, I don't actually know how much heavy I've got down there, so I don't want to burn any more heavy. But you can you, I mean you just get a sense of how good this hand cannon is with how much damage it's doing to the boss. And there you go. Once you've cleared the two. Unstoppables, and then these two, two uh, light scourges, is that what they're called? They're basically like chieftains, the uh, scorn chieftains. Once you've killed those two, the two unstoppables and the rest of the little lads, you're gonna, this is us now, we are in the boss room. Now, how, did, how to attack the boss room? 
this you're gonna see that quite a lot with ads spawning in and so you're gonna have almost every round is gonna almost have a champion well they are most of them are gonna be uh you're gonna get overload an overload in this round and then it's gonna be an unstoppable and just a normal just a normal uh, ogre in the next room and then the last room is going to be an unstop uh, overload again so not really bogged down with champions just one in each phase so what i'm trying to do is these ads keep i think they do eventually stop spawning in but what i'm trying to do is use my devour on my grenade to give me the opportunity to be aggressive on the boss because as long as the grenades putting stuff down I'm gonna get devour and it's it's basically gonna protect me from from him you can see there that's him that's him so so don't try and clear all the enemies in this area just use the enemies and and, and the kills that your abilities are getting on the enemies use that devour to help you move around the room and you can also have a look. I think I, I think I've got about seventy-four on my discipline, with seventy-four with my discipline with my uh, controverse hold. That is enough to get your grenade back really quickly if you hit multiple enemies. So again, like I'd already said, the darkness room. This is what I'm calling the darkness area. Uh, my technical term for it. Uh, that you'll come through here on the first immunity phase going to do it exactly the same way we've done it the first time. Take out these two uh, raiders. I had to wait to see it come up there. <laughs> Take out these two raiders with the hand cannon. You know, that 45 range hand cannon that, that's mapping you know, things in a master nightfall. Uh, and then again, we'll drop down. Put down the rift. Now I can I could wait for my grenade because as soon as I jump over there, we're going to get, you know, we're going to be uh, introduced to the hordes. You can see there, I don't, I don't really want to push. I'm trying to shoot to get them to come up. There we go. And then we've got all our screebs. And then we've got a whole bunch of new screebs coming in. Luckily, it's something I think they've done to the grenade, especially the... I've noticed especially with the uh, with the the grenade that I use uh, is it, it pulls enemies towards it, which I, I think that's great. So again, the other side here we've got uh, an overload. So again, a grenade. Now I've got no heavy, so I am gonna I am gonna finish this this overload for heavy I decided to just go for it because you'll always get you'll always get uh, heavy from from obviously from from uh, finishing a champion now normally what happens when you come into this room where these ads are that's where the ogres will be this time they were over on the other side so I'll just reload my rocket. We'll take the first one out. It's just a normal abomination. And there's the champion behind us. So that we'll stop the champ. Put a grenade, put a rocket on and then a grenade. But as you can see, he, the, the boss put his little, little void kind of, little void tether. I keep, I keep, I keep just wanting to call it a tether. So I'm gonna move. I have no, no heavy. You can see that I jumped up to put a rocket on and realized I had no heavy. We've still got a champion. We want the champion to get un, untethered. And I've just thrown, thrown my super. No, no, I've got heavy here. I threw the super obviously to take care of the champion, just to get, you know, because we're stuck. You don't want to get overrun with that, and it can happen. But you don't want to be behind one one corner of the room either because the boss pushes up to each corner. Now I try and go around the edge of the room. 
because there's constant cover behind these these kind of show show places and you'll see there look how fast I got my super back and that is all uh, ashes to assets so we'll throw a grenade over there and as you can see I got the kill and then prop devour straight away all classes have devour so this isn't this isn't just something that the the warlock can do every class can utilize devour and we'll just toss what grenade down there just watch the super ball that is ridiculous Ashe ashes to assets and now we've got full heavy again so we're just gonna toss that over there just to clear that that is literally what we're doing I've got I've got full heavy so I could burn burn a heavy shot there that is literally what we're doing luckily for us the boss was was so kind of in a rush to get over here he walked that's the thing what, what, to weaken the enemies you just need the grenade to it, you don't even have to throw a grenade on them they just have to have been affected by the grenade at some point just just walking into the grenade just quickly walking into it is enough to apply that weakening effect so there we go we got these ravagers now as i said before you're gonna have two that are gonna come behind you so you want to make sure you take those out and then let's speak up a little bit now because we, we've done this area we we already know how we're gonna do it the second one may i add never came this time so we know how we're gonna do this area uh when we go back in, gonna have my super, there's gonna be an overload. Normally what will happen is they'll spawn right up in the, the center. You'll put a grenade on that will stop the overload. And then you can put a, a rocket or your super or whatever and then just lead the champion on a merry dance. Uh, the boss on a merry, merry dance. What happened when I went in this time is for some reason the overload shielded immediately. The boss and the overload both put shields down, meaning I had to deal with the shields and, and move around the map before I could do any damage. That that didn't happen the very first time I'd done it. So I'm not sure if that's something that will happen all the time, but you have to be aware that it can happen. You know, that the the overload and the boss will both put down their lanterns and, and, and just shield. So... What I'm trying to do here is I'm not wanting to burn too much heavy, especially when he's finishable. There we go. And that just means I can go into the room again with full heavy should I need it. So like I say, the idea is I'm just going to wait for my grenade. As I'm going to put the grenade on the first wave of ads that are going to spawn. And then the idea was to then throw my super at the boss. So we'll put this there. And then I threw my super at the boss, but he was he he obviously straight away had a, a shield up. So now I'm gonna have to use I'm trying to use my rockets to break break the the tethers as well. Now I'm gonna have to take out the champion. Jesus. Big man come after me there. And now now so this is an overload that's 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 shielded here. And then that that's what I was saying. So the overlord shielded and the boss was like, nah, I, that's not a shield. This is a shield. Unfortunately I got froze there, luckily it's it's not a very long freeze anymore. And I got my grenade, which worked out wasn't as good as I thought it was gonna be because as soon as I threw my grenade and it's, it's stuff like this will happen, you know. This is where strategy comes in. This is where the repeatable strategy really starts to, you know, really starts to uh, earn its money. Just throw that on that wave of ads because as long as I'm getting kills with the grenade, I'm going to keep getting devoured. Now, there's the overload. Yeah, so this is where the strategy starts to pay money, right? I'll just jump up because there's a, a, a moving ad right in front of us. I'll just throw my grenade. There's all the ads there and the overload. 
hopefully we get a notification there we go overload chieftains down uh this is where the strategy pays dividends when it's all when, when things don't go according to plan if your strategy is good you can still recover from it move them around move them around the edges throwing grenades at the waves of ads even if things don't go according to plan as long as you follow your plan you know so that you can recover don't ever lose your head in a, in a strike or a nightfall or a raid or whatever if it's not going according to your plan trust the process make sure that you're still doing the strategy that you set out at the start because that is the way to recover when it doesn't go well so there you go guys outside of the room keep putting your grenades or rockets or whatever on the waves of ads coming in and that is birthplace of the veil thanks a lot for watching guys i hope you enjoyed it i hope this kind of helped you i hope this helps you guys get your run done and uh, if you did enjoy it a like rating is always appreciated it helps youtube even know i've got a video out again thanks for watching take it easy guys stay safe and i'll see you guys in the next video